Welcome Wolf and Wolfettes, we are back with the order 1886 and as you can see by this glorious fire over here, last episode we discovered that the United India Company and Lord Hastings are working with vampires and have been crating up a couple of vampires and sending them to America and India. So uh, me and Ravi over here, Ravioli, we've decided to burn these crates because fuck vampires, we all know werewolves are by far better. <laughs> so we've got to continue taking out the crates. Alright, Ravi, did you hear how loud she shouted at me then? I'm right next to you. Jesus. So loud. Oh, hey, look at. One minute. What, what the. Oh. oh. I could really be stuck on grenades there. Flipping hell. Uh, what, what gun have I got? I can't see. Oh, I've got my rifle. Okay, we'll keep my rifle with the blowiness. Oh, can you can you get out of the way, Ravioli? I need to. Uh, thank you. There we go. Uh oh. <laughs> Let's move on to the rest. Very well. Go. Take care of the remaining cargo. I'll deal with this time. Oh, can't can't I deal with the cargo and like let Ravioli kill the guards? Oh, I like this gun. I like this revolver. An M4 Dragoon revolver. Oh, 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 I just blew something up. <laughs> oh, flipping out. Enough, enough of these guards appear out of nowhere, didn't I? Oh, shit. What's that? I just love these guys wearing top. Oh, look at that throw. This guy must work in the cricket team. I just... I love how they wear top hats in a battle. I mean, of all the things to wear, a flipping top hat. <laughs> I mean, I understand. Oh no, I've got no bullets. I understand style on that, but come on. <clears throat> Can you ki get your rifle out? Oh shit. Oh fuck it. Come on, Galahad. Come on, my boy. Get your ass up. Okay, is everyone dead? Is it safe? Do, where do I go now then? Where's uh, Ravioli gone? Can I go down here? Is somebody alive? Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, well I've uh, got a lot of grenades so we won't have to worry about a bad fight. I shall tell you what this game is sort of feeling like. Now that I think about it, this game is getting giving me the feeling of Underworld. You know, the film Underworld. Pretty good film, I love it. But uh, this is sort of getting, giving me that kind of feeling. Werewolves versus vampires. And if it does turn out to be like that, I've got to say, that's an incredible game. That will be an incredible game. It's like they've just given us a bit of a taste of with this game. And then, like, if there's sequels in the future, they're just going to be amazing. So, uh, guess you have to be patient. Either way, I have no idea what's going on at the moment. I just know we've got to take out these vampire crates. Oh, let's chuck a grenade up there. We've got plenty. Oh, no, no. Oh, that was close. Oh, shit. We didn't do a good throw then. Thank God for the air. <laughs> really, thank God. Oh. Oh, 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 shit, I didn't, oh, flipping hell. Okay, I've been dying a few times on this, this flipping grenade guy keeps killing me. He's covered in a lot of silver bloody armour and he, he's right pain in the ass. And this fire is really distracting me. <laughs> Can we stop setting fires for a minute, Ravi? Because, uh, you know... I'm the one that's got to kill people, and I can't see shit at the moment. It's just smoke and fire everywhere. Guard 
There goes a uh, shotgun guy. Oh, phew. Oh, phew. I think uh, the grenade guy will be here in a minute. Come on, grenade guy, where are you? There he is, all right, let's do it. Oh, phew. All right, we, we got the dick. It's like they've suddenly, everyone's damage has just suddenly been increased. They're hitting me like freaking crazy guys. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Finally. That's the last of them. It's locked. Oh, no. Oh no, oh, come on. <laughs> Don't shoot my little wolf. <clears throat> Eliminate the light. Oh shit. Oh, oh, oh. They're so flipping sneaky and quick. I need to change my gun. Oh, oh flipping out. Oh, it's, it's too flipping foggy in here. Oh, what the hell? He come from behind me. Oh, well, I'm facing the wrong way. Careful. Oh! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh! No, 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 please, 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 please. Oh, thank you. Oh no! <laughs> oh, they're coming from every bloody direction, ain't they? Oh! That's it, we got one, we got one! Oh shit, he's got a friend! Get ready to press cross immediately. Oh! Oh! Oh, come on, regenerate your flipping health! Oh, that was close. That's two. Okay, but that means it's three. What is? Are they both dead then? Ronnie, are you in there? Daddy, I'm not glad to hear your voice. Ronnie, are you hot? No, not yet. But hurry, break down the door. At once, Ronnie. You bad wolf. <laughs> that was close. I never thought to see you again, daughter. How did you find us? There's no time. The company's forces are gathering at the shipyard. We must flee. Night. Did not tempt fate. A work here is done. Oh, well that action picked up quick, didn't it? This horror must be made known to the council. Tread carefully, Knight. 
The company could not succeed without powerful friends in the government. You saw on the docks how your own ranks have been infiltrated. If it is as you say, then surely I would The war suspect... has turned against the half-breeds. They are now using the United India Company to spread terror throughout the world. You must help us. I'm a knight. Sworn to protect the realm, not bring it crashing down. Then you must trust no one. Fare you well, knight. Would only we could have met on different circumstances. Where shall I find you? Whisper my name in Whitechapel, and I will be there. Gray, what in the world is going on? Not now, is he? Don't walk away from me. I saw you at Whitechapel. What? You followed me? I was worried about you. You fled like a madman after the battle on the bridge. You know nothing. Less than nothing. Is this some kind of clandestine infiltration? Is that what you're up to? This isn't the time. Gray, what's happened to you? No. Oh. Ever since Mallory was killed, I look at you and... What? What do you see? I don't know. A stranger. Someone I'm not sure I can trust anymore. Whatever it is. For God's sake, tell me. Not this time, is he? And you do well to stay clear of me. For your own good. You! Find General Lafayette and summon him to the library. The conspiracy runs to the very heart of the Council. This allegation is monstrous! I refuse to believe it. If the Lord Chancellor will permit me, I can I show- I will not permit! And you will say nothing more of these ridiculous suspicions. All the years I've known your father, never have I seen him so obstinate. Your allegations strike at the very heart of the Empire. I fear he cannot sustain another blow as great as the loss of Mallory. All he need do is journey to Blackwall Yard. For what evidence? The destruction was total. A clear case of arson, according to Commissioner Doyle. Apparently, a small group of rebels was seen on the docks. It was all rather... What is the word the Commissioner is so fond of? Oh, yes. Elementary. Now, what do you think? I have no opinion. Should you wish, I can attempt to persuade the Lord Chancellor to put the matter before the Council. If it is true that we have a traitor in our midst, word well, is bound to get back to the conspirators. What do you propose? Breach the walls of the United India House under cover of night. Any information that will shed light on the events of the last few days must surely be found there. Trespass on the company's headquarters. You are cut from the same cloth as Mallory. Drastic circumstances call for drastic measures. Oh. I would have your assistance, Alistair. I hardly think it proper for the Knight Commander to be you seen- You know the lay of the land. I will need your guidance to navigate the grounds of the United India House. If a conspiracy is to be revealed, your testimony will carry weight with your father. Very well. But the two of us alone will not suffice to infiltrate the compound. If what you say is true, there are precious few we can trust. My sister, Lafayette. I cannot involve them until I have more evidence. Then who? I might know just the person who can help us. I thank you, brother. We're approaching the United India House. I assume we're not planning to enter through the front door. Not to worry. I've made preparations for our incursion. Gaining access to the compound proved to be a little more difficult than planned.
back entrance to the compound. You could say that. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, we're breaking into the United Internet. <laughs> the United Internet. The United India Company's headquarters. Well, I expect there's going to be a lot of sneaking around and a lot of darkness. Got to tell you, Wolf, that's this uh, weather right now. It's currently how it actually looks in England. <laughs> so I feel, uh, I feel very, uh, what's the word? Immersed in the game. <laughs> oh, bloody rain, I tell you. We should just rename it Rain, Rangeland. There we go, Rangeland. Are you just knocking on the back door? Oh, well, I'm sure that was a brilliant plan, wasn't it? Knock on the door and they let you in. Oh, well, hard work that was. <laughs> You're right, Watson. I would not mind. I would like a nice good cup of tea. Yes. Oh, well, Watson's ignoring me. Oh, there is a cup of tea. Oh, look, and it's steaming. Oh. Oh. Is everything in place? Well, the tea is. Ordinance is on the table. Oh, can I have a bedroom? Can I have a cup? His name is Watson. Can I have a cup of tea, please? Oh, come on, what? Oh, there's another cup. Oh, it's like he's made all of us a, a cup of tea each. It won't be long before the truth is revealed, Sebastian. Well, it wasn't me. <laughs> it wasn't me. I didn't break anything. Crystal Palace weren't broke by me. Oh, look at that. Oh, come on, ready at dawn. If you're going to put quick time events in the game, at least at least add a button for me to drink tea. Come on. Oh, <laughs> I really want a cup of tea now. Well, I don't think they've added milk to it, though, and that's a bit of a disaster. I mean, I could drink any kind of tea. I mean, I could force myself to drink black tea if needed, but... Francis. I definitely prefer milk. Francis. Oh! Oh, oh, crossbow! Not only is it underworld, it's now it's now turned into Van Helsing. <laughs> oh, that's another great film. There's so many great werewolf films and that with like werewolves and that, but there isn't many um, isn't many games of werewolves, is there? Crossbow brings back memories, ancient ones of that. Thought it best we stay silent on this mission. Let's get going. Compound is patrolled all through the night. Guards man all entrances. What's the incursion point? The gardens. Should provide us enough cover to move in unnoticed. Follow me. Should head to the rooftops. Well, you're right. We probably won't get noticed, but this is going to require a lot of sneaking. I'm not really up for sneaking. I prefer to just go in guns blazing. It's one of the main things I like about Uncharted, is I could just go batshit insane and not have to worry. Now, if you follow a... Uh, no, actually, you're lying to me. If you ignore Lucan and come down here instead, you should find yourself a collectible. Where are you going, I, I just told you, uh, Lucan, I'm looking for a collectible. Here it is, in this chest. I think it's another one of those recordings. <laughs> See? Sometimes they try and trick you and make you go the wrong way. So you should always look for these secret little routes. I think when I finish this game on my own playthrough, I only missed about three collectibles. And that's because they were hidden in some really sneaky places. <laughs> okay, when we get into the gardens, I'm going to have to end it for today. Uh, I've been recording for about nearly 30 minutes actually, but I'm going to have to cut out a few deaths I think, so it'll be a bit shorter than that. Oh, definitely gone back into Uncharted mode. Another game that's supposed to be coming out this year that I don't think I've mentioned yet is uh, that was leaked. Is a, as you guys know, I'm a big fan of Assassin's Creed. Oh! I'm fine. He's soaking wet, but uh, this year it's supposed to be Assassin's Creed Victory and it's supposed to be in London. Victorian London. Oh, I can't wait for that. 
Especially if it has the same graphics as Uni. Ah, oh, it's going to be glorious. Hopefully this game works. Look how he's squatting down. <laughs> he's pre presenting his ass to the whole of London. As intelligence does pan out, a trustworthy man it seems. Not really. He has a debt to repay. Failure to deliver on his word would prove most unpleasant to him. We need to find a safe. Gazebo seems to fit the parameters. Good. Let's deploy the line. Oh, we're going in James Bond style then. Alright, I like it. Done. How did that arrow smash through concrete? Oh, we're dead. Alistair, I need you to stay here and spot my path. Once I'm clear, I'll give you the go-ahead to enter. Very well. Uh, do be careful. My sister wouldn't forgive me if I were to return alone. What she doesn't know cannot hurt her. What is uh, our uh, ingrained fancy Galahad? Well, I've got to tell you, I don't want Galahad to end up with uh, ingrained because she's a bit of a bitch lately. <laughs> With a bit of an attitude. Oh no. It's just a bird. Grayson, I think it's unwise to eliminate company guards until we have proof. There is no time, Alistair. You have to trust me. This is the only way. Damn. Just get to the lower garden. The gate will be locked. You will need to find the key. Okay. Gonna have to end it here, Wolf and Wolfettes. Thanks for watching, Wolf and Wolfettes. Uh, next episode, looks like we'll be finding a key so we can get into the United India house. And then, we'll be finding some more evidence to find out why these guys are such arseholes. Thanks for watching, Wolf and Wolfettes. Like, share, and join the pack today. Oh!